Welcome to a beautiful day in God's creation. It sure is good to be outside on a day like this. And appropriate for what we're gonna talk about today. So what are we going to talk about today? An important part of discipleship. Like reading the Bible or praying? I usually do that inside. Well, those are important, but no. Today, we're gonna to talk about taking care of God's creation. Hmm, hadn't thought of caring for creation as part of discipleship. How do you figure? Got your phone? Is that a rhetorical question? Open your Superbook Bible app to Genesis 2.15. The Lord God placed the man in the Garden of Eden to tend and watch over it. Oh, to care for his creation. Exactly. Creation care was a mandate or order from God. But that takes work. Wasn't work something that happened after Adam and Eve disobeyed God, a result of their disobedience? No, God's plan always involved work for us to take care of the land he gave us. Our sin is what made it a burden. You remember Superbook's episode in the beginning? Cursed is the ground for your sake. In the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. So work is good, but the sweat and pain and thorn and thistles came because of our sin. That makes sense. But can you help me get a better handle on what creation care actually means today? Well, yeah. Well, for one thing, we need to stop doing things that hurt the earth. Like stop polluting or stop using so much plastic. Exactly. And we need to start doing things that protect creation. Like recycling or cleaning up trash along the highway. Exactly. You can also take out trash in your own home, too. Or plant a vegetable or flower garden. I love tulips and tomatoes. You know, taking care of your pets is also a good way to do creation care. I know. <laughs> taking my dog for a walk and emptying the cat's litter box every day, even when I don't feel like it. Will make your mom happy, too. If she doesn't faint from the shock. <laughs> But there's one more thing to creation care. It's not just about discipleship. It's also a central part of the message of the gospel. I thought that the gospel was about the good news about Jesus dying for the people to save us from our sin. Well, it is, but there's more to the good news of Jesus. Not only are people redeemed by Jesus' sacrifice, all of creation is redeemed. I mean, check out these verses in Romans. Against its will, all creation was subjected to God's curse. But with eager hope, the creation looks forward to the day when it will join God's children in glorious freedom from death and decay. Sin ruined everything and still does. But one day, God will redeem everything. Like we saw in the Superbook episode, The Last Battle. Do you not know that God is the Lord of restoring all things? And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Behold, God makes all things new. So when we do something that shows we care for creation, we're showing we care about what God cares about. We're partnering with him with the future in mind. Exactly. I mean, doesn't that make you want to get up and do something good for the earth? It sure does. Got any ideas? I have a few, but that'll be for a later episode. His, his word, word is, is forever, forever alive. How do you care for creation? Let us know in the comments below. And we'll hope you'll care enough to like and subscribe and check out the Superbook Bible app. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about taking care of God's creation. <laughs> Beating the rain. <laughs>
<laughs> Hadn't thought of caring for a describing ship. <laughs> caring for creation as part of disciples room. I'm sorry. And we hope you'll care enough to show us like and video. <laughs> what? What is it to like and subscribe? <laughs>